let's focus locally here, Rick. Okay, yeah. Vitaly Kratsov, is he no longer a Vancouver Canuck? Yeah, he is. Uh, Donnie signed a two-year deal to play in Russia. Uh, Sixteen games with the Canucks last year, folks. One goal, one assist. It's a case of Donnie for me. He just went to a place where he feels more comfortable right now, and that's in the KHL in Russia. He's only 23 years old, ninth overall pick by the Rangers, two picks after who? Quinn Hughes. Um, you know the old saying, first-round picks get a million chances. And you know it's true because mm-hmm. we've seen it with the Ulevi and Vertanen. Uh, Canucks have liked this player for over a year. They're not going to give up on him. I was told they're okay with this move. I was told they're happy he's going to continue his development, well, and I fully well, expect the Vancouver Canucks to qualify. How could they be happy with the move? Well, okay, well, I, 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 just let me finish. Okay. I fully expect the Canucks to qualify okay. him and retain his rights, Donnie, till uh, July 1st, 2027. Qualifying date is two days after the Stanley Cup Finals end. So what I'm what I'm trying to say is, look, he's going there. He can develop. They're not giving up on him. He's only 23, and so at least you know they're not upset about it. Uh, he can go there and continue his development. He's still young. He's mm-hmm. a first round pick, Donnie. They get a million chances. You know that, and I know that. Mm-hmm. But you know the, the Rangers should be more upset than anybody. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a great draft, uh, by the way, uh, back in, uh, you know, other than uh, Quinn Hughes, Brady Kachuk was in there as, yeah. as well. But um, the Rangers, I believe, is one of those situations where oh. they had three first round draft picks. Huge. Keandre Miller was in that as well, obviously. Uh, he's, he's turned awesome. out better so far than, than Kratzoff. But give me, a, give me a Kratzoff moment in those 16 games. There was one game where Tockett raved about him. He scored the goal and he said if he can bring that every game, uh, it just... Uh, Donnie, it's, uh, you know, I don't know what to say to you. Uh, 16 games, two points. Um, I think he just wanted. I didn't notice him. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm sorry, but I just I, do something. to. Jeff yeah. Patterson says this all the time. Do something, make me notice you. Yep. I, I didn't really notice him uh, out there. Yep. I didn't really, like a ninth round pick. You, uh, 100%. S- somebody who's a forward, you expect some. Some flair, some flair. offense there. I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't see a whole lot. I always, you know, the, for me in these days, social media, the reaction of him signing over in Russia, yeah, over the last twenty four hours from Canuck fans was meh, meh. Right? They gave up Lockwood in a later round uh, draft pick. I think people are okay with the Canucks taking that flyer on Kratzoff, even if he doesn't come back. Yeah, and again, uh, uh, you, you have nothing to lose. And even if he goes to Russia and, and, he, and he finds his game, uh, the Canucks, when they qualify him, they, could, uh, they have his rights for three more years, Donnie. He signed, uh, Donnie, a two-year 40-ruble million. No, Donnie, help me. 40 million rubles? <laughs> Sure. Okay. So a two-year, forty million. How the hell am I going to help you there? Well, I, no- I, I get mixed up with rubles and millions. Forty million ruble base salary. <laughs> okay. 40- what does that translate to? And, and Ryan, this this in morning, Canadian Ryan dollars. says to me, "Is he getting paid in uh, rubles?" No, Ryan, he's getting paid in Canadian. He's in Russia. Forty million ruble base salary. It, it that is five hundred thousand U.S. But if you he's got substantial bonuses, it'll be closer to a million US. <laughs> I knew I was going to screw this ruble. Right. Yeah. Uh, look, forty million rubles. You're going to screw this ruble. Five hundred grand US <laughs> with bonuses. It'll be a million US. I okay. knew I was going to just butcher that. I did. No but like you say, it's it's maybe it's kind of a tramping thing where he just wasn't all that comfortable here. Maybe that's part of it. That's right? it. But you again, I didn't, I didn't see a whole lot there. Uh, and, and you know what? It, it, he goes there, he figures it out, and the Canucks still have his rights. Uh, so, you know, they'll keep an eye on him over the next uh, year or two. Okay, so off, off to Russia he goes, uh, yeah. uh, to the K. Um, other Canuck news, Ethan Bear. Quiet, uh, Donnie. Uh, quiet on Ethan Bear. Quiet on Kyle Burroughs, the Langley kid. I talked to his agent, Ross Gurney, this morning. Ross says nothing going, nothing cooking. Uh, These uh, are all RFAs, UFAs. Uh, you are, yeah. Well, Ethan Bear's an RFA. Kyle Burroughs is a UFA. A UFA. <laughs> Noah Juleson, quiet. Colin Delia, quiet. Uh, Canucks haven't made their decision. <laughs> <laughs> Canucks haven't made their decision on these guys. Mm-hmm. Not yet. So uh, they they have talked to Ethan Bear. There's they they haven't cut a deal yet. He does have our rights. Kyle Burrows. There's just been no contact. I, uh, you 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 bring it up all the time about Rick Tockett raving about uh, the Las, Las Vegas oh, okay. blue line. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just wondering if Rick Tockett is is told the uh, you know management go out and get me more defensemen who are six four two twenty mobile. Well, 
Kyle plays like he's 6'4", 220. He took on the right? guy in Vegas who was 6'7". Uh, uh, Kyle Burroughs is uh, absolutely phenomenal. He's, he, st- he led the team in fights. Nobody stuck up for their teammates like Kyle Burroughs guy. did. You know, he's just a great team player, character guy. Uh, we'll see what happens, but really quiet there right now, Donnie. Memorial Cup starts uh, Friday in Kamloops. Uh, the Blazers take on Quebec in Game 1 on Friday. Peterborough's involved as well. They take on Seattle in Game 2 of the round robin on Saturday. There's a kid on Peterborough's yep. Canuck draft pick by the name of Connor Lockhart, and you yeah. have some news on him. Yeah. OHL sources tell me, uh, Donnie, the early word is as of now the Canucks are leaning towards not signing uh, Connor Lockhart, uh, sixth rounder in 2021 to an entry level deal. It's not looking good. If they really liked him, Donnie, they'd have signed him by now. Uh, Lockhart would re enter the NHL draft before he becomes a free agent. So um, you have to project where he's going to be as a pro. Canucks signed two centermen, uh, Max Sasson mm-hmm. uh, and Atu Ratu. Well, they got two centermen late. So is there room in, up the middle for him in Abbotsford? I, I don't know. All these are factors. But the early word is uh, OHL sources tell me the Canucks uh, leaning towards not signing Connor Lockhart. Five nine one sixty four. Yeah, but he also was drafted by the Canucks. They sure. thought something of him. Yeah. But as a 20-year-old in, in junior hockey, you got to put up astronomical numbers. And I think maybe, uh, you know, it, you know that might be an issue. So, anyways, we'll, we'll like monitor RST that. Like R.S.T. Baines last yeah, year. Yeah, 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 big time. Oh, yeah, that's a, he led the Western Hockey League yeah. in scoring. Yeah, that's a good point by you. Uh, so, that one, – one more little yes. tidbit. Uh, Canucks are talking uh, – a contract with Jet Wu's agent J.P. Berry. Uh, hopefully, they get uh, they resume those talks this week. 